The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. So. Is that beast here again? Hey, there's a lot of meat left on that bone. Oh, for heaven's sake, Viv. Why doesn't Harry Connors feed his own dog? Why shouldn't he when it eats so well over here? <laughs> the only time Harry ever sees Tiger is when that poor dog staggers on for a bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> if he doesn't watch it, he's gonna be the only dog in the neighborhood with gout. Come on, kids. Let's hurry up and all pitch in and do the dishes so we can see the early show on television. Watch on. Greta Garbo and Camille. Who's Greta Garbo? I don't know. She's before my time. Mom, she's who's... before my time, too. <laughs> oh, come now. I'd rather watch a Western. Me, too. Well, we're going to see Camille. I feel like a good cry. That's two against two. Chris, your vote decides. I don't think I should vote. Why not? Well, because I won't be home. I'm going out. Oh, where are you going over to Cynthia's? No, I have sort of a date. A date? Jerry, would you and Sherman please take these out to the kitchen? Chris has got a boyfriend. Oh. Chris has got a boyfriend. I wish you'd warn me, honey. Now I have to get all dressed up again so I can drive you and your date wherever you're going. Don't bother. I'll drive them. Well, actually, neither one of you will have to drive us. Well, you certainly can't walk. Mother? I have a date with a boy who drives his own car. A boy who drives? <laughs> yes. He isn't old enough to drive. How old is he? Sixteen. I'll bet he's just barely sixteen. <laughs> I don't know, Chris. There's something about you and a boy in a car I don't like. What is it? The whole idea. <laughs> Boyfriend, Chris? Uh-huh. His name is Alan Harper, and he goes to prep school in Connecticut. I'm so thrilled. Well, I'm not. Lucy, may I put in my two cents? I would be a wealthy woman if I had a nickel for every time you put in your two cents. <laughs> I think you ought to let her go. At her age. Oh, now, when we were her age, we had dates with boys who had their own cars. Well, that's true. And our mothers didn't think we were grown up either. That's true, too. Well, all right, Chris. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. Oh, you're a doll. You too, Aunt Viv. I better get dressed. Thanks, Viv. You did me a favor. I guess I'd forgotten what it was like to be 14. <laughs> Do you remember your first date with a fellow that had his own car? Yes. <laughs> I remember it. His name was Vinnie Myers. And he had a Model T. <laughs> oh, boy, we thought we were really living. We went to a dance, and then we had a hamburger. Yeah. And then we drove out to the lake, and... Chris, you're not going! <laughs> oh, there's Alan. Would you get it? I'll be ready in a few minutes. Oh, Viv, I really don't think I would let her go. Now you've already given your permission. Well, why can't they stay here and watch television? That's a lot of fun. Oh, that's every teenager's idea of a big evening. Camille coughing and you sobbing. Oh, well, I feel a lot better if they just stay around the house. Hello there. Hello, Mrs. Carmichael? Yes. I'm Alan Harper. Yes, won't you come in, Alan? I Thank didn't you. know you. This is Mrs. Bagley. Hi, Hi Alan. Uh, Chris will be right down. Fine. Uh, where are you two going tonight? Oh, we were thinking of going to a movie. Have you seen Camille? <laughs> you mean Camille Metcalf, Chris's friend? No. Surely you've heard of Greta Garbo. I don't think so. Is she a friend of Camille Metcalf's? <laughs> no, I mean the 
old movie, Camille, starring Greta Garbo. Oh, where's it playing? Right here on television. Come on, sit down, make yourself comfortable. But, there you are, put your feet up. But, here, I'll take your hat. There we but, are. But we, we were gonna go to the picture at the Ritz. Oh, I hear it's great. That thing, it's dreadful. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I think Chris was counting on going to the Ritz. <laughs> well, then you just don't know Chris. She's a real homebody, just loves to stick around the house. Yeah. Viv, why don't you go out and pick some snacks so we can all spend a nice, cozy evening in front of the set? Come on. <laughs> uh, hi, Alan. Well, hi. Uh, <clears throat> Chris, guess what? Alan hasn't seen Camille. Uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we all watched television right here together? Oh, but Alan, I told the kids we'd meet them at the movie. Oh, it doesn't make any difference to me. Come on, then. Let's go. Okay. Well, uh, uh, well, have a good time, but if the movie is boring, you just feel free to come on home and we'll take up the rugs and dance or play ping pong or we'll find something that's a lot more fun than just driving around in that old car. Okay. Well, thanks, Mrs. Carmichael. I'll be home by 11. Well, okay. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye. Uh, don't forget, this is your home. <laughs> to enjoy. Whenever. <laughs> that back. They're not staying. I knew they wouldn't. This is for us. <laughs> well, time for Camille. <sighs> what are you crying for? I haven't even turned it on. <laughs> I've lost my baby. <laughs> boys give Tiger that bone. I'm hungry. <laughs> Good night. Aren't you coming to bed? Oh, Viv, I, I thought I'd wait up for Chris. Why? You left the front door unlocked. She can open it by herself. Well, frankly, Vivian, I'm worried. What about? Do you know what time it is? She said she'd be home by 11. It's a quarter of 11. Yeah, your watch must be slow. What time have you got? 14 up. <laughs> what a worry wart. Where can they be? Wait a minute. I think I hear a car. There's a car pulling up in front. Aha! I knew it. They're parking in front of the house. How do you like that? The car hasn't even stopped yet. <laughs> <laughs> now it's stopped. How about that? Well, how else do you expect Alan to let Chris out? Go whizzing by and toss her onto the lawn like a newspaper? <laughs> well, just as I thought. Those two children are smooching. Look! I will not look. If those two children are smooching, I, for one, think it's none of my business. Well, I, for one, think it is my business. Where are you going? I'm going out and put a stop to this. I'll never forgive Henry Ford. <laughs> <laughs> where's Chris? I don't know where Chris is, but I sure know where Flo the manicurist is. <laughs> Who will? I don't know. She didn't introduce me. <laughs> Was she angry? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> what do you mean, sort of? Well, she rolled the window up in my face and said, from now on, I could do my own nails. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. She said that went for my nosy friend peeking through the curtains, too. <laughs> Boy, was I embarrassed. Oh, where can they be? Oh, Lucy, are you going to stand by that window all night? You're acting like a mother hen. Well, I don't care. 
Here comes another car. It's them. <laughs> you get in here, young lady. <laughs> you didn't even give me time to thank Alan for the lovely evening. You had plenty of time to thank him on the way home from the movie. I don't like the idea of you sitting out in front of the house in a parked car smooching. Smooching? <laughs> Sparking. Necking. Kissing, you know. Oh, you mean making out. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever you call it. Mother, Alan and I could hardly have been doing that. Didn't you see who was in the back seat? Another couple? What's that got to do with it? That couple were Alan's mother and father. Oh. oh. We ran into them at the movie. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Oh, I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, honey, I, I was... Now I'll never see Alan again! <laughs> oh, dear. Now I've really done it. Oh, don't feel badly, honey. I guess if you're a mother hen, you can't help laying an egg once in a while. <laughs> Any word from Chris this morning? No, nope. I knocked on her door and she won't even talk to me. Oh, dear. Oh, Vivian, what am I gonna do? Well, the first thing you better do is stop biting your nails until you find a new manicurist. <laughs> oh, stop making jokes. I'm really serious. And I'm worried. She, she won't even talk to me. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. Oh, where have you two been? Playing on the trampoline. Don't tell me you got that dirty playing on the trampoline. No, but it was on account of the trampoline. We wrestled in the mud to see who got the jump first. Yeah, it looks like you both lost. <laughs> Go on, get yourselves washed up. Mom, can we have some cookies? All right, but you gotta wash first. Do we have to? Yes, you have to. I told you we should have come in the back way. Oh. <laughs> Chris, darling, I'm sorry about last night. I apologize, and I promise it'll never happen again. Good morning, Aunt Viv. <laughs> Chris, baby, talk to me. Say something, anything. Mother, you have ruined my life. And a girl! <laughs> well, that's a start. <laughs> Yeah, she's here. Just a moment. Chris, it's, a it's Alan Harper. Really? <gasps> Hello? Oh, hi there, Alan. Tonight? Oh, sure, I can go. Well, what do you mean you're surprised? My mother's the sweetest, kindest, most understanding mother in the whole world. <laughs> okay, Alan, I'll see you around eight. Bye. Gee, Mom. You really are a doll. Thank you. Oh, Mother. Yes? Will you do me a favor? Yeah, what? Well, if I promise to be home on time, will you promise not to wait up for me? I'll do even better than that. Just to show you how much confidence I have in you, I'm going to give you my door key tonight. Honest? Yep. When I get home, I'll wake you up and I'll tell you all about my day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how about that? Five minutes ago, your life was ruined. A man calls and everything's all right again. <laughs> That's youth. You? It works pretty well for old, too. <laughs> Jan! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, no, not again. Uh, you owe me $3.40. I'll take it off your rent. Okay, but don't go blabbing it around town. What do you mean by that? Well, if it ever gets back to that cheapskate ex-husband of mine, I'll deduct the three dollars and forty cents from my alimony. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, ten thirty. I guess I'll turn in. Good night. Aren't you going to bed? Well, I thought I'd pick up a magazine to read in bed. Lucy, you're not thinking of staying down here and waiting up for Chris now, are you? No, believe me, Viv, I wouldn't be caught dead down here after what happened last night. I just want to get a magazine to read in bed, that's all. Okay, good night. Good night, dear.
wonderful time, Alan. Gee, I, I hated to bring you home so early, but, well, I gotta catch a train back to school in the morning. Oh, that's all right. I told you Mom wasn't going to wait up for me. She kept her word. Yep, she sure did. <laughs> She's probably sound asleep by now. I promised to wake her up and tell her about our date. Well, gee, it'd be a shame to wake her just and tell her that. Oh, but I promised. Well, couldn't you wait till the morning? Well, I, I could, but a promise is a promise. <laughs> Gee, Chris, you sure are pretty. <laughs> I guess you take after your mom. I guess so. <laughs> I'm sure glad I came home from school this weekend. I'm glad you came home, too. <clears throat> well, uh... Would you like some hot chocolate? Oh, no, it'd be too much bother. Oh, no, it isn't. Come out in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> It'll be ready in a minute. Okay. Hey, your back door's open. Oh, would you mind closing it? My silly little brother probably left it open. <laughs> you know how kids are. Bib. <laughs> Bib. Bib. Vivian. Hey, Viv. Shh. <laughs> hey, Viv. Viv. Back. Oh. Tiger, what are you doing? You don't you ever sleep? Go on home. It's just me. Go on home. Shh. Hey, Viv. Th Tiger, when you get out of here, it's me. Remember? Remember that leg of lamb last night? It's me, the horn of plenty. <laughs> Go on home and do some push-ups. Oh, get 
my other leg. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> That's it. Now I'll get this one. Oh. You all right? You're bright, you get. No, that's right. Oh. Will you kindly tell me what this is all about? Later. I gotta go to my room and go to sleep so Chris can wake me up and tell me about her date. <laughs> be back any minute now, dear. You'll go down to the drugstore and get yourself a hot chocolate. By that time, I'm sure she'll be back. We just had some. We'll oh. wait for her downstairs. Okay. <laughs> Boy, are you a dumb bunny. <laughs> Why'd you have to tell her I went out? Don't snap at me. How did I know she was going to wait up for you? Oh, couldn't you think of a better story than that? No, I couldn't. I didn't have much time to work on the plot. <laughs> I was too busy helping an ungrateful friend of mine break in her trampoline act. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Viv. I'm sorry I snapped at you. It's just that now, thanks to you, I've got another problem. What's that? I'm supposed to be out for the evening. If I get down the stairs, the kids will see me. How do I get out of the house? Well, back to the old trampoline. <laughs> Oh, Viv. Oh, now, wait a minute. What about clothes? You're a little past the slumber party stage. Well, I haven't got time to go get dressed. Give me one of your coats. Okay. <coughs> Here you are. Oh, not that one, Viv. That's not a good color for me. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, to tell you the truth, Viv, I never liked that color on you, either. <laughs> On. Bouncing beggars can't be choosers. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Viv, I can't. You've got to. I can't. It's got to be done one way or another. What other way is there? This. <sighs> <laughs> Are you all right? I forgot shoes. I'll throw you down a pair. Be sure they don't clash with the coat. <laughs> okay, throw them. Oh, boy, some throw. <laughs> Tiger, give me that shoe. Tiger. Go. <laughs> Tiger, please. It's me, Tiger. It's me. I gave you the big bone. ago and Chris is in bed. Oh, swell. Where have you been for the last hour? Oh, chasing Tiger all over the neighborhood trying to get your shoe. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> 